Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swin Town Swinning Poopers, who, as you can see, are sitting right now comfortably in sixth place. Sixth is the last uh, playoff spot. So if we're third through sixth, um, then we get to be in the playoffs to get to the Premier League. And if so, if we win two games, then we would go to the Premier League and everyone would be so happy and they would stop, they would stop singing, we want uh, points, not gingers. Um, difficult game last time for the Swinton Town Swoodly Poopers, but we come back, we're refreshed, we're ready to go. We've got, we're st I'm, I'm sticking with one size fits all. I've got Andy Rooney and James Collins up front trying to give the rest of the boys a break. We'll see how it goes. Um, that wasn't a particularly compelling first pass. I want to talk today about how to break up with a friend. That was a suggested topic in the comments of a Swoodly Pooper videos. By the way, you can suggest uh, things that you'd like for me to talk about in comments. Um, you can also scream at me for what you perceive to be as my poor management of this club you love, um, which seems to be the, the number one uh, habit in Swoodly Pooper Vilia today. Oh, that should have been a goal. Um, yeah, so like breaking up with a, a romantic other is like a fairly well-established routine at this point. Like you have a way to do it. I've only been dumped, fully dumped as a friend once, and it was a really interesting experience because I got like straight up dumped where this person was like, I do not want to be your friend anymore because you are weird and it, you're not a very good friend, which was true, and you're not very generous, and I just don't want to be your friend anymore. And I was like, this is weird. You can't dump someone as a friend, but of course... You can, and occasionally you must. Um, but like in a romantic relationship, it's like a very well-established thing that romantic relationships generally have beginnings and endings, except for there's you know one or two that last your entire life. Friendships, uh, and I think this is kind of to their credit, are often allowed to just sort of like dwindle away, which I think is an okay ending to something. I think the dwindle away is underrated, and like everybody's wish for constant closure is a little bit maybe overrated. Um, sometimes it's good to just be like, oh, I'm going to see this person less and less still, and then now I'm not going to see this person at all. Um, but, uh, uh, but of course, like, sometimes that isn't possible because the person wants to see you all the time or, or whatever, or there's just not a mutual agreement about the quality of the friendship or uh, the person has done something monstrous or whatever it is, uh, and you have to, you have to break, end the friendship. Um, I think the best way to do it is just to say, like, I think we need to go ahead and, and break up as friends. Um, oh, that was terrible play by John Green. I'm better than this. You know, my heart, my heart says I'm better than this, but my, my fingers, my fingers produce the same unspectacular. All right, we have a free kick. Meredith, this is a free kick from the proverbial promising position. What should I do? I agree. I should shoot. I should shoot. It never fails. I've never scored a free kick in my entire FIFA career. Just reminding you. And I still haven't. Golly. All right. Do you get a, do you get a, do you like unlock an achievement when you finally do that? When you finally freaking score? All right. So, um, yeah, I think like I'm a big believer in open and honest communication when these things are necessary. And like, that's kind of an unpleasant conversation, but it's also an unpleasant conversation to end a romantic relationship. Um, not that I've ever done that. Uh, I've always been the dumpy. Um, but it's, it, I, I think that, um, you know, it's one of those things where you worry and you worry and you worry and you worry and then you just have to kind of get it, get it done. Um, it's best for, if it's really not going to work as a friendship, it's probably best for everyone involved that, uh, that everybody be, be kind of fully on the same page about it. And then you just have to keep your boundaries. That's one of the hardest things to do in, in life, in, in human relationships, not just with people who you're breaking up with, but really with anybody, is to like say, no, I'm sorry, but my boundaries dictate that like I can't come over to your house even though you want me to. Or my boundaries dictate that even though you want to make out, uh, we're not going to. Um, there's a really like hard, uh, hard thing because the, often the person would be quite persistent and then you start to feel like you're a bad person or something if you, if you are just doing, you know, like what you need to do in order to stay safe and sane. Um, yeah, but pe don't, oh no, it's three on none. Don't let people make you feel that way. It is not your fault. You have a right to, dang it! You have a right to your bodily sovereignty and why did I give up that amazingly bad goal I'm not even on aggressive mode Meredith I blame you for this this is Meredith's fault Meredith have you ever had to break up with a friend 
spearhead to break up with the boy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Meredith and I both have a lot of exes. But none of them are the same people, interestingly. Um, perhaps because we are of different generations and different orientations. Oh! Oh, the frustration is palpable. Oh, we are not the team that we once were. I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to make some changes at halftime. But it's just, I know that, I know that you guys are angry with me. But, like, anyway, honoring your, honor, like, trying to find a way to, like, be fair to yourself while still being compassionate and empathetic to other people is, like, one of the great, like, general challenges of being a person. And that's true no matter what, no matter what you're doing. Um, but, oh, no. Oh, no. Fitz Hall! Fitz Hall! Fitz Hall! We'll go back to friendship, but I just briefly have to talk about the fact that everything is descending into crap. Everything is turning to crap in Swoodle Pooper area, Poopervilia, in the poop in, in Pooperland. Our players are tired. I don't what have we done? What have we done? Why did I start the same players I started last time? What what is wrong with me? Have I gone insane? Have I lost my mind completely? Have I'm not even starting Merrick Merrick. Have I become the kind of guy who forgets can I make seven substitutions, please? I don't even finish my sentences anymore. Alright. Okay. It's just a slow descent. I mean, sometimes it's like sometimes I can glimpse the fact that I've lost my my mind completely and I can see like there's a there's a there's a person on the sidelines who's just completely disconnected from reality who's had some kind of psychic break that's resulted in a fascination with uh, you know only gingers and former the acquisition of former former Swoodley poopers and I can look back at our January transfer window and say like how did I manage to get zero players with three million dollars because of my obsession with S Holden Goldfield and I can say like this is the work of a madman but then when I'm in the middle of it like right oh. It's terrible defense. Like right now, I'm just, I'm just like, this is the only way. This is the only path forward. But like, it's like, it's like Gatsby. Like I feel, I am. I mean, I, uh, uh, you have these glimpses where you're like, maybe this is a bad idea. But no, I just, I have to. I've, I've got to get the yellow car, and I've got to get Daisy Buchanan inside of it. And everything's just gonna be fine if I can just, if I can just get Daisy Buchanan to understand. Stop thinking about your child, Daisy Buchanan, and think, think about me for a second. If I can just get her to understand. If I can just. If she just, I just, <sighs> anyway, being a friend, um, you know, I, I, I think on some level, like part of, part of being, if you're in a situation where you really cannot be friends with someone anymore because it's, it's, you know, just not, not good for you because it's not healthy for you, whatever it is, like part of, part of being a, a, a good person to other people is being honest about that. Um, uh, Leroy Williamson. Um, and like, so it may, it's one of those things where like, you don't want to be so presumptuous as to be like, I know what's good for you and what's good for you is the end of our friendship, but you do have to be honest about what's, what's necessary for you. Um, so I don't think it's a question of like, oh, like you'll understand someday how bad, you know, like how we aren't supposed to be friends. That, that comes off as just, to me at least comes off as like condescending and that's not really what you want to be. Um, that's not actually, come on, it's a f repeated fouls. It's not actually what you want to say. What you want to say is, you know, I can't, I can't be friends with you. And I think you got, oh, terrible free kick. Got to state reasons. You got to say I can't be friends with you because of X, because of Y, because of Z. You know, like, it, it has to make, oh. It's all. What has become of us? How have we descended to this point? What is... Am I going to get fired as the manager of the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers? Have I... Have I come to a point as a person where I'm so disconnected from my fictional reality that I'm no longer able to even do the basest, basic job of taking care of this team that I once loved so much? Have I... Is bald John Green right? Have I? I don't know. Sometimes I think maybe he is. Sometimes I think maybe he is. Other John Green still respects me, or at least he pretends to. Oh, this is just horrifying. Absolute horror. There's nothing else you can say about it. It's just an unmitigated disaster. Oh.
Yes, so feel free to break up with your friends. Feel free. You just gotta be respectful about it. I'm sorry, I've lost everything. I've got nothing left. Oh, what a great slide tackle from the great, underappreciated, one size, Fitz Hall. He's big, he's tall, he's also short and small. One size fits Hall, one size fits Hall. Oh, gotta find the joys where you can find a Meredith. I may be down 2 nil, but that was a fantastic, necessary slide tackle. The rare, necessary slide tackle among Swindon Town players. I love to see it. And here's Leroy Williamson on the ball. A hero of Swindon for many. Mm. Everything is crap again. Oh, Swindon. I have tried so well, and I have tried so long, and I have tried so hard to do right by you. I don't even know what to say anymore. This Watford game will go down in history as the time when we all began to recognize that there was something terribly wrong with my management of this particular team and that the people, the ten, tens of thousands of people who have supported us though these many years may have been right all along when they said, John, you are losing your mind. You must serve Swindon, not Gingers. You must think not of individual players but instead of what is good for the collective team. Oh, I can't even score in the dying minutes with Leroy Williamson. What's the point? Oh no. Three nil, a Watford drumming. One size fits all goes down in a clump. He's 36 years old. He's being asked to do things that a man of his age can no longer do. It's humiliating for him and for the rest of us. Oh, God, what have I done? What have I done? What, what horrible magic have I wrought? Oh, John Green! Oh, maybe not a great time to do the robot since you're down 3-1. But it's a little something. It's a little something at the end for the people who watched through the depressing parts. He's still happy. We're not even bothering to get the ball out of the net because we know we're going to lose, so we're just enjoying it. Just soak it up. Just like, yay, our goal differential is slightly better than it otherwise would have been. Woo! Oh, swoodly poopers. I appreciate your support. You got to know that I'm doing, I'm doing my all. But within my, my limited resources and, and what is arguably, uh, I would argue against it, but what is arguably some insane, insanely bad, oh, are you kidding me? Decisions that I've made. I'm doing my best. Thanks for watching, best wishes.